Well, welcome back, you guys. What we got on the mill today is a poplar log. It's, uh, I think, nine foot long. Let me set a measurement here. Nine foot and three inches. And it's about eight inches, eight and a half inches on this end. And it's about nine and a half on this end. All right. We got it raised up just about an inch off the bunk so we can center the pith. And what we're going to do is make a... I got three of these popper logs. I'm either going to make stickers out of this or three by three runners to lay on the ground to stack wood on. It just corn when I get it squared up a little bit what I got left to deal with. But let's go ahead and get started and uh, we'll get it milled up. to hit my GoPro there. I had to stop and make sure it was going to clear. I think I need to scoot it over a little bit.
Well, we thank y'all watching the videos. These are just going to be runners on the ground just to let a stack lumber on. I set these on top of cinder blocks just to keep the wood from touching the cinder blocks. So they don't have to be perfect, but I think they all ended up pretty close. No matter which way I flip them, they're level. So, yep. I'll cut them at 43 inches and uh, be done with that. I got two more to do. I'll decide whether I want to do the same thing or make stickers out of these. Once I get them up there, I'll measure them out. I'll make the first couple cuts just as if they're going to bow with me. If they bow too much, I don't use them for stickers. If they don't bow that much, I'll go ahead and use them for stickers and put weight on it and it'll straighten them back out when they dry. Like I said, we thank and appreciate y'all watching the videos and I'll get some more videos going for y'all. Y'all have a great day and we thank and appreciate it. And if you like the videos, hit that subscribe button and we'd appreciate it if you hit that like button. You have a good day.